Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Monday the 1st, and today was another gorgeous day outside weather-wise, absolutely beautiful. Um, I would take this weather all year long, would not bother me one damn bit. So, got up today, I did not sleep worth a damn all night. I seemed like I fell asleep um, fairly quickly, uh, and then I was up, and I'd be awake for about a half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour get back to sleep, I don't know, 30 minutes at best, maybe 45 minutes, I'd be back awake for another hour. And I did that off and on all damn night long. Um, had a few really twisted up dreams and nightmares and that good crap, but just, I don't know, could not stay asleep for anything. I'd fall back asleep halfway decently, but I'd back up at it and I would just be getting my butt kicked again. So definitely um, not the biggest um, joy of my life for last night but I made the best of his day got about a handful of stuff to get done got that knocked out got that took care of around the house here um did some just general life things uh, i was out in the shop for a little bit getting some stuff figured out there uh, trying to figure out the next step of what i'm doing in the, in the shop and then um, took off had to go do some run around had to go buy some dog food went and paid a bill that um i had on a ramp that got fixed i had a have a ramp straightened. Um, they sent me a bill in the mail because the guy wasn't there when I picked up the ramp. And they sent a bill for like 32 bucks or some crap, which I thought was just ridiculous when he quoted me a quote of $20. So I just walked in there day and acted like I hadn't even had the bill at all. And I said, hey, here to pick up my, or here to pay for my ramp straightening. You said it was going to be like 20 bucks. And he's went in there and looked it up on the computer. And I don't know if he changed it or what he did because basically it popped up. He said, oh yeah, 20 bucks and the tax, whatever. So went ahead and paid for that. Um, so I saved over 10 bucks just by basically walking in and pretend I didn't get the 30 some dollar bill. So went ahead, um, got the paid receipts. I'm going to keep hold of it so in case I don't get another the mail saying they charged me 30 some dollars to straighten another ramp. So hopefully um, that won't happen. But I just, I don't know, I hate businesses that will basically quote you 20 bucks and then charge you 30 plus for it. When you increase the bid by over 50%, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely crazy. I understand it's. Ten dollar difference, but still, it, you put it in a press, you made it straight. It was, it was like you knew it was going to take more work than it did. And I'm a big fan of you need to have an estimate. You said 20, 30 bucks. One thing you said it'd be 20 bucks, and you raise the bill to 30 plus is ridiculous in the process. Call somebody, ask them, hey, are you still wanting to do this? It's going to take longer than I thought. It's going to be more than I thought it was going to be. Whatever. So, because I could have had a whole new ramp for 50 bucks. So. And I was really not wanting to pay 30 on it, but happy, ended up paying 20 plus tax. I was good with it, so I got that taken care of. Went and grabbed a bag of dog food, um, talked to one of the ladies working there. They got a new puppy, and it was tied up. Um, I was basically asking the dog to do something wrong. She goes, no, she don't want to wander out. So I didn't want to escape, and as customers came and gone, and they keep the back door open at the shop most of the time. Didn't want it getting out back there either. So I went ahead and explained to her how I had trained all my dogs in the past, to basically have to have permission to enter or exit a door of a building, car, whatever the heck it is, just for that same reason. Because your dog's in the car and you open your door to get to the leash or to get some groceries or who knows what, and the dog darts out, getting hit by traffic and stuff. Same thing when I had my retail shop. I had pets up there off and on, different dogs up there. And I did not want them when somebody went to leave with their purchase or even just leaving from looking around. They didn't want the dog falling them out and getting hit by a car or something either. So... Even when I was with them um, at my house, my dog has to have permission every time before he leaves the house. The um, I get to the door, we have to stop. I tell him to go outside, he heads outside. So goes everywhere. I don't care if we're at a care center, I don't care if we're at a business, I don't care if we're at some friend's house. The dog has to have permission to leave the building and he has to have permission to leave the um, yard if I have the gate open because the fact that what if somebody else opens it, forgets to close it, or if I leave it open, whatever, he needs to have permission to exit that yard also. So now once we're playing out there, playing fetch and stuff, then he has the freedom to come and go. But every day he has to have permission to leave that part of the yard to the gate. So only thing um, I don't make him do is the garage because like if he's running out of the garage door, he don't need to stop every time because I, you know, we're out there working in the garage. So it's not that big a deal. But she liked that idea. I can't explain to her how I worked on that training. And it sounds like she's going to try and do that with her dog. So I'm going to probably check in and get another bag of food, which will be like three weeks from now. So I'm going to kind of check in and see how it's going and kind of help remind her of how much safer it'll be for her puppy if that actually happens. So got done there, um, had to go pay some taxes, had to go pay my insurance, had to go pay some other bills. Just it's amazing how quickly you can knock out, um, I don't know, a couple thousand bucks and 
it's one of those things where I pay my taxes. Um, well, that's obviously for the property and stuff. But I pay my insurance six months at a time. So it's amazing how quickly that stuff is. It's a pretty big note when you stop and think about it. But you just have to pull it back out every month and basically set it aside as if you're paying it monthly. But I save a few bucks by paying it every six months. And it also keeps me from having to think about it every damn month. That gets a little bit annoying, but it works out. I just throw the money in a separate um, spot end of the six months I go pay it so works pretty well for me I don't know some people can't handle that part they don't hold on to their money good enough and they'll end up spending it all before the six months comes around so if that's something you're that person do not do it because that six months rolls around it is a big ass note to go pay I've got multiple vehicles on insurance so it's definitely not the cheapest and all mine is just liability even so start knocking out um, full coverages on some you know newer vehicles you got a giant note to pay every six months so Went ahead, um, got that taken care of and stuff, took off, went out for my run, ended up knocking out like 7.77. .7. I just thought, hey, what the hell, I got close, it was a little over 7 when I got near the end of my run, and decided to heck with it and ran uptown a little ways through town and kind of back around. Finished it at 7.77, .7. thought it's kind of an odd number, so I went ahead and ran that out, so it worked out pretty good. Um, really just had a decent run, it was just a nice steady run, um, felt good the, most of the time with it. Knees give me a little issue. My foot mostly is giving me issue just up near the toe area and stuff where the joint meets there. But it seems like that kind of stretches out and does a little better after the first, uh, between two miles and five miles when it really kind of opens up and I start kind of not noticing it so much. So I'm not sure if it actually feels better and stretches out or if I just have other pains that kind of set in and distract me from that foot pain. So went ahead and met some dogs on the run today. Uh, Bruce got to play with some new puppies and stuff. Worked out pretty good. It was kind of fun there. So other than that, um, pretty much uneventful night. Got home, finished burning some more stuff outside. Changed out my um, headlight um, plug that the one I have is broke. It wouldn't clip on good. The one I bought, they claimed was, it would fit it. And it's not the exact same one, but it's a much tighter fit than the one I had. It was only like $5. So I went ahead and installed it. Um, as of right now, I believe the headlights are working way better than it works. The driver's side headlight was super, super dim. It lit up, so I wasn't getting pulled over, but I couldn't see with it worth, worth a damn. So hopefully uh, this will last me. If it doesn't, I went ahead and stuck the actual plug, that the original one that I cut off the car. I stuck it in the glove box. That way, in case this one doesn't hold up, I'll be able to take it into the um, parts store with me and actually say this is exactly what I need. So we'll have to see. Like I said, it's working so far. It just doesn't clip on there quite as tight as I want it to. It's just more of a pressure fit, not a hooked clip fit. So we'll have to see what happens there. So other than that, um, pretty much the same old thing. So that's all I got for now. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.